For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas seek recognition? I ask unanimous consent that the gentlewoman from Texas, the Honorable Myra Flores, be permitted to take the oath of office this evening. Her certificate of election has just arrived, not arrived, but there is no contest and no question has been raised with regard to her election. Without objection. Will Representative-elect Flores and the members of the Texas delegation present themselves in the well? All members will rise, and the representative-elect will please raise her right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter. So help you God. Congratulations, you are now a member of the Honor Society. Without objection, the gentleman from Texas is recognized for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Doggett, is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, central to the preservation of our democracy is recognition of the results of fair elections you lose just as much, if not more, than the elections which you win. Tonight, we welcome to this chamber a new member and recognize a fairly won Republican victory in my home state for the six months remaining this year in the term of our recent colleague, Philemon Vela, who resigned. Myra Flores was born and raised in Mexico. She came legally to the United States at six years with the help of her father and became a naturalized American citizen. She graduated in 2014 as a respiratory care practitioner and currently works caring for those with chronic respiratory issues. With Latino Texans bearing a very disproportionate burden from the pandemic, she has been on the front lines combating COVID. She graduated from South Texas College and her husband serves as a Border Patrol agent. Myra will be the first Mexican-born woman to serve in this house and the first Hispanic Republican woman to serve in our Texas delegation. She ran a very vigorous campaign. I congratulate her on her success. I see that she brings a beautiful family to our chamber, and I look forward to working with her this year. I yield to the senior Texas Republican and my Ways and Means colleague, Mr. Brady. Thank you, Mr. Doggett. On this day in 1788, the United States Constitution was ratified, making that remarkable document the law of this land. And it began with those immortal words, we the people. So 234 years to the day after that call to create a more perfect union, the U.S. House of Representatives makes history today with the inspiring swearing in of the first Mexico-born member of Congress, Myra Flores of Texas. There is so much to be impressed with, with Myra. She was born and raised with humble beginnings in Borgos, Mexico. From a young age, her parents and grandparents raised her with strong conservative values, faith, family, and hard work. She came legally to the United States at six years old. And with the enthusiastic help of her father, she became a proud, naturalized American citizen. Growing up, Myra worked alongside her parents in the cotton fields in Memphis, Texas to earn extra money for school supplies and clothes. With the support of her family, Myra graduated as a respiratory care practitioner has worked ever since to care for the elderly and the disabled. She did serve on the front lines helping patients combat COVID-19 and remains every day 
an active member of her community in South Texas. She remains a firm believer in the American dream. It's a dream she's living and will always fight so that others can achieve it as she has. A proud wife and mother of four, her husband serves as a Border Patrol agent, the Rio Grande Valley, working to protect our country during an unprecedented border crisis. So on behalf of the entire Texas delegation, please welcome with me to the United States Congress, the Honorable Myra Flores, her husband John, and their four beautiful children. Myra. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Speaker, I rise today to give a voice to the voiceless to say that the people who live and work in South Texas have had enough. We want to be heard and we are tired of being treated like second class citizens. I was born in Burgos, Tamaulipas, Mexico, si senor. <laughs> and raised with strong values to always put God and family first. My father, Saul Flores, moved us to the United States because of the promise of America. He told me, in this country, if you work hard, you can accomplish anything. My story proves he is right. But right now, our people are struggling. They are taken for granted. That ends now. And I'm here. I have risen from working in the cotton fields to representing I have risen from working in the cotton fields to representing the community I love in the United States Congress and I will give them a voice I will use it to say our lives are not a game our people deserve to have opportunity, security, and freedom. And I will work every day to give it to them. I am a proud Border Patrol wife and a mother of four young children, fighting for a better future for them and for all our children. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back. Yeah. Yeah. Under Clause 5D of Rule 20, the Chair announces to the House that, in light of the administration of the oath of office to the gentlewoman for te from Texas, the whole number of the House is 430. Congratulations, Congresswoman Flores. Thank you. Great. Uh, pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, the unfinished business is the vote on the motion of the gentleman from California, Mr. Swalwell, to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 7777 as amended, on which the